YouTube. This is just a quick recording that I wanted to put together for anybody who, like me, is well ingrained into the Apple ecosystem. You happen to have a, uh, let's say, an Apple Cinema display uh, or Thunderbolt displays, and you're trying to do the dual monitor setup. And if you have a Mac Mini M1, uh, you quickly realize that you kind of run into trouble with what adapters you would need. And if you aren't willing to put in the time and energy, you'll probably pretty quickly find that you give up go out and buy replacement monitors when you don't need to because uh, even those old 10 year plus old monitors are still great today. So that's what this video is about. It's showing you how you could make uh, those connections and have a dual screen set up with your M1 using old uh, Apple Cinema Display slash Thunderbolt Display. Uh, so stay tuned. So as you can see here from my setup, I have two displays, an Apple LED Cinema Display and then a Thunderbolt Display. Both of them have the same resolution, but uh, obviously subtle differences. And this is Monterey 2020 uh, M1 with the 16 gig. The key here, and I am not an affiliate or anything like that, so I don't get paid for, for sharing this, but for me, it's this Cable Matter HDMI to DisplayPort adapter. And so what you'll see in my setup here, this is the Apple specific and so this takes you USB-C to Thunderbolt 2 and that is what's powering the main display which is my Thunderbolt and then you go to this Cable Matters HDMI to DisplayPort adapter and so that's what you're doing here and so one of the things doing some research that causes this issue with with what we're trying to do um, is that you have to use the USB-C and then technically you have to use a uh, HDMI cable and so HDMI and DisplayPort have like different voltage and what this adapter does is you get the HDMI signal and then you plug in and use one of the USB ports to give you your power or your voltage needed then you go from an adapter and all I did here is I used a I, if I can find the brand or, or the old purchase because I've had this one for a while um, the DisplayPort adapter to mini to display port, which is what the LED cinema displays use. And then you just plug that bad boy right in. And when you do that, you end up with two functional and working displays. And there you go. So quick tutorial on how to get that setup going. If you're like me and you just have some old school Apple displays that as far as you're concerned are still fantastic and you don't want to get rid of them. And one last question that I know people might ask is, do the ports work? And the answer is yes. And you have a little bit of, you know, some options in terms of how you set that up. But in my case, in order to keep one of my better USB ports on the Mac Mini, I took the USB that you plug in from the power here, connected it to the Thunderbolt. And in doing so, the ports on the back of the LED cinema display, uh, this will work to give me power. I'm actually connected right now with my iPhone uh, and it also allows for data transfer. And same here, uh, just through connecting the Thunderbolt display like you normally would with power, um, you automatically have the ability to use the ports on the back of this as well. So everything's working as I would want it to.